Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Braid1. Today we're going to talk about something totally different on this channel. Of course we have miners and we have developers. I've been making many videos for the miners of Ethereum, but now we also need to include some videos for the developers of course of Ethereum. So what can we do with Ethereum smart contracts? A lot of people ask me this question like, hey I can mine this coin, but what can we do with it later on? Um, why should I keep it? And I'm going to make a very simple example for the common people with a problem that persists in my country. And it's going to be pretty interesting if you want to see the future with Ethereum. So let's get started. A regular train station. How does it work? And what can we do to improve it with Ethereum? But first of all, we need to go over it on how it's done today. So you just buy a ticket using an ADM or a ticket window and the price is 100% fixed. You pay $10 to go from point A to B and you'll have to pay it. Your train may have a delay, you're too late for your job, your school or anything you wanted to go to. You get no refunds from the train for being too late at your job or anything else. So how can we improve this using smart contracts? We can make it faster at the first thing we can buy a ticket using the smartphone or a physical Ethereum wallet you can wear in, in those days, like uh, an Ethereum watch with coins in it. You just uh, knock it on the door and it, 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 it gives Ethereum or something. Or yeah, you can scan the QR code on the train or in the entrance, but we will have dynamic prices. I'll come back to that later on. I'm gonna try and make it really simple and short, of course, because otherwise this will get really boring. So you travel from station A to B, but the train company will get paid if they arrive at station B. Um, you can also um, make it even better, like if the train arrives too late at point B, you get a discount of 20% or 50% and you will pay the train station when you arrived at station B. So it will calculate, okay, we were on time, you will have to pay $10 on Ethereum. But if, if the train was too late, you only have to pay $8 because you get a 20% discount for the train being too late. And that will make the company uh, try and do its best to get you on your destination uh, at the very best and fastest way. So we can also use that in, in, in cabs and stuff later on. But that's not for now. We're talking about train stations. So by using smart contracts, we can also check if the train was on time using the blockchain using its built-in timestamp and they can check it like on the company like hey this driver from this train was too late again what is he doing all the time and they can just like I don't know do something with him like teach him a lesson and the company can also check how many passengers were on the train at certain times for analysis and future improvements of the company so they can send like more trains on that hour so more people can catch up the train and don't have to wait until the ne next one comes because the other one was full. This is one of the many uh, smart contract IDs I have and that we can use in the future. So I want you guys to think about smart contracts that we can use in our lives later on. So just think about IDs that you have that we can put smart contracts in and that will help us in the future just post them in the comments below and I'll review them maybe in a video later on like hey this guy got this ID and blah 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 how, it gonna, how it's gonna work out and stuff I think that's gonna be a great idea and we are the blockchain future so we need to do this hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one